come under my youtube channel so under this video i'm going to explain one of the questions that the other guy asked me that like, how do i pray straight like how do you see the entries all right so there are several features that you have to look at there are several criteria that i do look at before entering a trade and of course let me drink some water yeah so you know about trading trading is really about the mindset and about the methodology that you are using to trade it. Once you have the light mindset, then pressing trades will be really, really simple. And especially if you dedicate time into the charts, knowing like how market is moving. So under this chart here, I will have an explanation on how the USD, the trade that we took with my members so i will show you this is the only video that you need from me because i will explain the market structure in deep like how do i take the sniper entries or the entries that in the back days i was not this person that you see today because i dedicated a lot of times into the charts then right now you see some razors you see razors not only from me but also from the people that I teach. Now, it's the only video you need. <laughs> now I'd say, it's the only video that you need. And please, I will ask you to hit that subscribe button and the like button, because you know the vice man, once you do that, you attract more people that maybe this video will be a help to them. Who knows? Maybe the other guy suffering or is losing money because of this concept that I'm about to teach you. You never know. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. Not only that, do me a, maybe and a friend. Just share this video and let this video hit the milestone. Who knows? Like I said. Now, this is our Discord community here. <laughs> Under this Discord community is where I do my, I do share my trades in real time. And we also have the live trading where I share different trading setup with entry criteria. Not only that, we have uh, a text hub here where we have different members right here different members who are also sharing their journey into this training i have told them now they're into practice so they are practicing on the charts and i'm also helping them to figure things out for example you can see this person here wanted to take cells on gold at this point you can see how i did i did the answer and so it is what it is i do guide people and they see how i take trades isn't that helpful? I guess it's a helpful. Now, let's jump into today's lesson. Today's lesson is very, very simple because I want to show you how you can calculately know the market structure in a simple way. And the only tool that I use once I do what we call uh, to lead the market structure I do use I do use different tools and the specific methodology that I use is price action so under price action I have the other tools that are, are always accompany accompany my methodology I would say because you'll see me using Fibonacci retracement you see me using different levels lines and yeah these are the normal tools the Ghana box tool these are such of the tools that I use. Now, how do you go about it? Now, like I said, it's not hard. It's simple to use it. As you can see here, this is my AUD chart. And if I show you on the Discord, 
this is how we predicted this and yeah this was how we did predict the AUD this was just an update so we had a an uptrend push market like this one and so the market made what we call a change of market structure now we have an uptrend market structure we have a downtrend market structure if you don't know and you also have the sideways market structure so you have to clearly know such market movement how they move so that it can be easy for you to know how you should react all right so the uptrend market structure is the one we look for buying opportunities and the downtrend is what we look for selling opportunities and the side way you just have to you know like maybe i will do i will be doing this i'll be doing this so this aud was in an uptrend you can see this was a clear uptrend market structure literally in the uptrend market structure you will see the market doing this you will see market doing what we call swing lows swing highs swing low swing highs swing low swing high and swing low until when market breaks this lower here is when you consider that market structure to be in a changing mode from the uptrend to the downtrend so once it's in a downtrend you will have to see something like this the market was doing this you have to see market breaking this previous low like this and you wait for this retracement on the high so that you can take advantage of the down push. It was that simple on AUD, AUDSD trend that we do. Very, very simple. And these opportunities, if you follow me properly here, you are going to see tremendously results. Is that simple? Not that. Now, let me show you how we did it. As you can see the market was creating what we call swing highs and we had this swing lower here this is this is swing higher others called high high and they are higher low so I do call higher high higher low whatever they're all names so you have to find which 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 name fits you your, your, your understanding so you can see the moment market made this higher we had what we call a break of structure so once market creates a new high by breaking the previous high this is called the break of structure so that break of structure signifies that the market is still in an uptrend now you get a concept so once we created this new higher you can see the market created the other lower or higher low and at this higher low here you can see market also made another high by breaking the structure signifying that the market is still continuing on the upside and then we created the other high but again at this high was also nearby the previous level we call it maybe the supply level you can see it was nearby this area here or this region here which is called the supply level and we have the supply level we also have the demand level under the demand level we look for buying and under the supply level we look for selling you will notice all these levels across each and every single time frames uh, we have other traders who are trading using what we call smart money concepts i don't use smart money concept by the way but the ones trading it they will tell you it's called order block something like that but i don't use those bullshit now all i'm trying to say is i do lead price action with a combination of other tools that's how i trade it's really simple and here we go you can see we are we have one thing this zone here which was on four hours time frame you can see it is my supply level whenever market shows pleasance under this zone here i look for changing of the market structure and i look for entries so that i can collect this easy money i call it easy money because it's easy to get it 
now how do i go about as you see we created we had this higher this lower here and we also had this high so in the four hours time frame to be really simple maybe i have to make it really easy to lead the price action you need to use you need to know the candle reversal candle structures like engulfing harami twizzle bottom twizzle tops all those are reversal as you can see at this point we had this week here which seems to be a reversal candle structure again it's not yet a confirmation that the market is going to change the market direction as those people using the call smart money concept they'll say we have those liquidation stuff like that but it's almost the same thing but they are too quick to enter in the market i would say now in my opinion what i do wait I have to wait for a change of market structure how do i know is the first area we had was this a higher low and a higher high so i have to wait for market to break this here with the formation of this candle either below this whatever happened but i was considering this lower here which was a nice breakage of the structure by creating the, the other formation of lower lower this is called lower lower so once this is formed what you have to weigh is for this market to keep on respecting the previously higher high so once it respects it that without not breaking and creating maybe a reversal candle here that's a sign on for me to enter in the market it's that simple so to use other criteria that i do use I use the combination of supply and demand with the use of price action. That's it. And other tools that I did tell you about the FIBO nudge. Now here, the market managed to create a new lower by breaking this previous low with this an impulse level. So what I do wait, I do wait for one thing. You have to listen properly here one thing which is i have to see the market having a little bit momentum here by respecting this previously high and creating a new lower low that's it that's how we do it now i have to walk you through i have to walk you through this so that it can be easy for you to understand now this is on four hours now on four hours you will see market details let me walk you through because this is on the you can see the market right now at this point you can see we kept on creating this lower here with it has to have at least the, the respectation of this high so i have to see it pushing like this so that i have to see a reversal candle there must be a reversal candle to allow you anti trade now a reversal candle can be engulfing or any kind of pinball so for beginners once they they this method called break and lead test like this you find a person entered here like this they are always drawing like this and entering here and stop loss a little bit below maybe above take profit like this and the market moves like this and you get stopped up you get stopped up and the market goes in your direction i used to trade like this back days and then i found out my methodology the one that i'm teaching you right here so at this point you have to see a reversal candle in any kind of the time frame it might be four hours three hours depends now racing we have this candle formation here which is let's see the following candle if respects if it has to have a little bit of momentum now i find this to be a little bit precise because it's also nearby this area and we also have this engulfing so according to my strategy this uh, an engulfing this engulfing 
kind of structure so at this point you have to see market coming inside this area here so once i see market coming inside this area where we had also what we call a market imbalance i have to take shots so but i do not take shot rather quick i also have to go down below into the lower time frames so to the lower time frame what do i look at i look at also the price market changing the uh, market changing the i would say market structure just like how i did view the lower time frames like we have this higher with this low we have this high we have this lower here so i have to see market at least black in this level here so that it can be my confirmations to take shots so what do i do as i have already seen the market inside this zone with this what we call market engulfing i mean uh, this is called it's called uh, it's called market imbalance once you see price moving like this and not recover that's called market imbalance but these are concepts that you have to find them in my in my course by the way i'll put the link down below you can go and check the free sample video where i've tried to explain i have that link down below go and click it so that you can i can see you then give you shout outs yes now we have uh, this higher we have this low so i have to see at least the market breaking this previous lower here so once it breaks then i have to enter on the retracement you see that's simple and so let me remove all of these drawings and show you how this thing is done you see now we have uh, this level here now let's see if market breaks properly we have this candle here so there's no way i have to enter there and this is that means it's not yet you can see market is trying yes so right now we got the break of structure i would say this is a break of structure with this candle structure formation like this and again it's also covered in this market imbalance right here so i cannot enter here so what i do i just have to wait maybe for a retracement like this and my stop loss has to be a little bit above this higher oh to protect myself i have to press my stop loss above this liquidation point when i say liquidation point is the point where we see maybe buy i mean sellers entering the market so we have this liquidation area here and i also have this liquidation area here so i have to put my stop loss a little bit above this area here so sometimes if i'm looking for swings i do even go and press above the levels like this because all of this area here is a liquidation point where we have to see sellers jumping in the market so to do it properly i have to wait for market to retrace like that and i have to press my stop loss a little bit above it's almost the 20 pips i guess this is almost 20 pips and target let me put my targets in a proper way i'll say in a proper way like this and i also have my tech profits now let me show you how i do press my tech profit my tech profits are always considered to be placed just like how i enter entries for example i have this area here which seem to be area of high liquidation so my tech profit has to be at least this area here why do i choose this area because market will not surpass this area before making a pullback so that pullback is profit you have to remember that so i'll place my the profit but to be more precise here i do like to use the fibonacci retracement tool uh, which is my point a here my point b here to be more precise so this will be my first tech profit here this will be my first tech profit which under fibonacci is around the negative 27 percent and negative 61 percent if you want to get these settings of my fibonacci tool just click a link down below 
and go watch the free video samples that it, I will be showing this okay now now so what I do at this point in the lower time frame I'm not yet in, in a trigger but I do wait sometimes I do press in my manual trades and sometimes I do press a manual and pending entry so pending entry is here is to press just the set limits but at this point let's see what the market did now here we go you can see the market after creating this and everything you can see it push it through and my trade was executed stop loss above earlier and let's see how everything played out so now here we go you can see how market moved the very straight to my tech profit and at this point we have this area here which i i had told you that this might be a liquidation point here so i have to see market pushing like this one market has to push like this because market did not pass here without doing this because this is a liquidation point where we have buyers attempting this where we are also got the break of structure you see that so i have to see market pushing like that and here it goes you can see and here we go yes so you see once if you are looking for maybe to scalp i also use this different trading style like scalping knowing this such areas like that one so if i was not pressing my type, first type of tk this was a profit now if i was to add maybe to close with 10 20 piece wherever if i'm day trading i have to not close the trade or to close the trade with less profit and market goes like that so you can see market tried to push through and there we go we have to hit the third profit point yes and there we go it's that simple I guess you may find it difficult because you don't have the knowledge yet but this is market structure once you know to define the proper way about reading market structure with a combination of maybe supply and demand or price action by the way each and every single trading style or trading strategy that you know that is any any maybe it's online the origin or the foundation of it is on price action so you have to educate yourself to master price action before other other trading strategies like maybe indicator i don't even advise you to use indicators by the way so it is what it is so i guess you gain some experience from this video let me know in the comment section what the s do you want from me see you to the next video